Hello students, today's video is all about direct variation and we're going to write it on page 27 in our composition book. So that should actually be page 27. Direct variation. Now what is direct variation? Good question. Direct variation is a relationship when y varies directly with x at a constant rate of m. That's a whole bunch of words to say that y equals m times x. And we know that m is still our slope. So all we're really doing with direct variation is we're finding our slope and plugging it into an equation where y, it's always going to be y, equals whatever m is times x. That's all. y equals m times x. We find the slope, we plug it in there, and that is what's called our direct variation equation. So let's look at an example now of how to use the direct variation equation. The number of cards varies directly with the number of packages. So let's say if there are 84 cards in seven packages, I need to write a direct variation equation. Well, remember that a direct variation equation is always in the form of y equals m times x, where y and x don't change. So I've got to find out m. What is my slope? Well, we know from the problem that if the number of cards varies directly with the number of packages, then the number of cards must be the y, which is 84 over 7, which is the x. So m is y over x, or rise over run, which is 84 over 7. Well, that simplifies to 12 over 1. So now that I've found m, I can write my equation y equals 12 times x. So for every package, x, I multiply it by 12 to get the number of cards, y. So once again, I'm going to go up to this problem. Anytime we see that the number of cards varies, whatever varies is the y, and whatever it varies with is the x. We're going to look at one more example together for this video. Let's say that Barney earns $24.75 in three hours. If the amount Barney earns varies directly with the number of hours, write a direct variation equation. So let's remind ourselves. It says that the amount Barney earns varies directly. That has got to be our y. With what? With the number of hours, then that must be our x. So how do we figure out the slope? The slope is y over x. So m equals y over x. y is the amount Barney earns. Well, in the problem, how much is that? Exactly, $24.75. And how many hours is our x? That would be three hours. Because remember, slope is always rise over run or y over x. Now, what is 2475 divided by three? Exactly, $8.25. So my slope is $8.25. So now I need a direct variation equation. Remember what the direct variation equation is? It's always y equals mx. What is m? Well, we figured out that m is $8.25, so I'm going to just plug that in. So my direct variation equation is y equals 8.25 times x. That is my direct variation equation. Tomorrow in class, we will do more with direct variation equations and we will apply them 
to our learning and to different story problems. There is not an assignment, so you don't have to send us anything for this video, but we will check your composition book tomorrow to make sure that you did watch it. See you tomorrow.